Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and today we are looking at mean, median, and mode. So what you can expect is that we'll talk about mean, median, and mode. And of course, we will, as always, have lots of practice. Let's start out with the mean. Mean is the average. That means that you need to calculate this. I recommend having a calculator for it. Um, you can do it in your head as well or on paper. Um, what you're going to do is add up the numbers and then divide by the number of numbers. So it'll look something like this. If you're asked to find the mean of this list of numbers, 4, 6, 8, 1, 3, 9, 8, 10, 5, what you will do is add up those numbers, 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 1 plus 3 plus 9 plus 8 plus 10 plus 5, which gives you 54. And then you will divide by the number of numbers. So this is actually a good test for us. Um, if you have a big long list like this, you can count them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then when you write them down or add them together, you can count them again just to make sure you haven't misplaced any. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Whew. So there are 9. So I'll do 54 divided by 9. 9 is the number of numbers, and 54 divided by 9 does give me 6. So therefore, the mean or the average of this list of numbers is 6. Now it's your turn. I want you to find the mean of this list of numbers that you see here. 7, 13, 23, 25, 19, 27, 18. Pause the video, try and find that. The steps are listed up in the upper left hand corner, so if you're coming back from, from solving that, hopefully that was helpful for you. We added up the numbers 7, 13, 23, 25, 19, 17, or 27, 18 and we get 132. I take 132 and I divide by 7, which is the number of numbers, and that will give me this weird number, 18.86, and that is correct. Now I gave you a number that wasn't going to equal out to be a nice even number so that you would learn to trust your calculator. Um, and trust the work that you've done, because at first when you do work and it gets a weird decimal answer, for me I tend to kind of throw it out and try something new. But with mean, with the average, you will often get one with a funky decimal. Here's another one for you. Go ahead and solve for the mean of this list. Pause the video and try that out. Hey, welcome back. When you add up that list of numbers, it gives you 56. And 56 divided by 8 is 7. The reason we're dividing by 8 is because that is the number of numbers in this list. There are 8 numbers in this list. Therefore, the mean is 7. Moving along, we're now going to talk about median. Median is in the middle, like the median of a highway is that kind of barrier in the middle. It's a number in the middle. So the first step to this is to put all the numbers in order from least to greatest. That's a very important step because um, otherwise you're just picking a random number. So put the numbers in order from least to greatest and the number in the very middle is the median. Let me show you how this would work. If I was asked to find the median of this list of numbers, I would first order them from least to greatest. This is another instance where I might want to count my original list and also count my second list and make sure that they have the same number of numbers so I'm not missing any. All right. So after doing after ordering them, then I will start finding my way to the middle. One strategy I like is to cross off the lowest and highest <clears throat> and then work my way in crossing off numbers until I find myself in the middle. That is the median. In this case, the median of that list of numbers is 6. It's the number in the middle when they're organized from least to greatest. And now it is your turn. I want you to find the median of this list of numbers. Pause the video, follow the steps in the upper left hand corner. Our first step is to put them in order from least to greatest and then we move our way into the center. The median is 19. Were you able to get that? The median of this list is 19. 
If so, great job. If not, hopefully showing those steps helped. The most common step to miss is putting them in order from least to greatest. All right, let's look at our next um, situation with finding the median. When we find, sometimes the hard part about finding the median is if you have an even number of numbers. So this list of numbers, 5, 7, 2, 9, 6, 3, 1, 4, can be organized from least to greatest, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. But when we start going into the center, we'll notice that 4 and 5 are right in the middle. We don't have two median numbers. For this, we have to find the average of those two. Or in other words, go back to finding the mean. What is the mean of just a short, a small list, 4 and 5? Well, we add them together, and then we're going to divide by the number of numbers, which is 2. So 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. So the average of those two numbers is 4.5. That makes sense since the numbers are 4 and 5. And therefore, the median of this entire list is 4.5. I have a practice question for you with an even number list. I want you to find the median of this list, 12, 11, 14, 16, 14, 12. Go ahead and put them in order. Find the median. Go. Hey, welcome back. Is that your list in order, 11, 12, 12, 14, 14, 16? I hope so. Let's work our way into the center. And we are needing to find the mean or the average of 12 and 14. We add them together. 12 plus 14 is 26. 26 divided by 2 gives us 13. Therefore, the median of this list is 13. And again, it should kind of make sense. Right between 12 and 14 is 13. It should fit right there. Our third measure of center is called the mode. The mode is the number that appears the most. That's it. Seriously, that's really it. Um, I sometimes call it the modest because it appears the modest. Um, but it's called the mode, and all you need to do is find which number appears the most. So if I have this list of numbers and I'm asked to find the mode, I would look at this list of numbers and say 8. It appears two times. All the other numbers only appear one time. Therefore, the mode is 8. Pretty straightforward. It's the number that appears the most. That's it. Now, I'm going to um, do one quick example here of finding the mode of a number of this list, 7, 6, 8, 7, 6, 7, 9, 5. If I'm asked to find um, that the mode for that list, here's one trick that I'm going to do. I am going to put the numbers in order from least to greatest. I don't have to do that to find the mode, but it seems to make it easier for me because now I have them listed and I can clearly see there are two sixes, three sevens, one five, one eight, one nine. So I know that seven appears three times. So again, a small hint, it's sometimes helpful to put the numbers in order. You don't have to do that, but it is something that might help. All right. Mode has a couple of special cases, so I want to uh, quickly talk about those special cases. The special cases with mode are this. If we have these numbers, 7, 13, 23, 25, 19, 27, 18. And so I, I use my trick of putting them in order from least to greatest. That doesn't really help because no numbers are repeating. If no numbers are repeating, then we say there is no mode. Okay, so there can be no mode in a list of numbers. And the second special case is a situation like this. Go ahead and put those numbers in order and try and figure out what the mode is. Try practicing that. Pause the video, try and practice. What's, what's the mode? When you put the numbers in order, you notice that there's two tens, but there's also two twelves. What's the mode? And this is another special case where we don't actually find the average like we did with the median. In this case, there are two modes. You would say the mode is both 10 and 12. Okay, So there are two modes when this happens. And that's a little bit tricky, again, so I wanted to bring it up as a special case 
um, with the mode, if there are multiple numbers that all have the same number of numbers, there are more than one mode. That was our lesson on mean, median, and mode. I hope it was helpful for you. Remember to practice, 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 and here are some other videos that you might like. You can go ahead and like, subscribe, share with your friends. Have a great day.